Welcome back to MTA. Today we're going to fish a very dark, non-visible, windy condition pond. Throwing a rattle trap, starting off with a wacky red worm with the shark tooth in. It's fairly windy out here. I decided on doing something today instead of just sitting inside the house. Here we are. Oh yeah, and if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please, please go ahead and subscribe. It helps out a lot and leave a like and comment on any other videos that y'all watch or want to watch possibly. I would advise y'all to go ahead and check out those videos too. They're nice, you know what I'm saying? But we're here now. This pond right here, it rained yesterday. It's a little flooded. I know this muck is gonna be mucky. So I'm gonna go try and head. Get all the way over there on that far left side where we caught a majority of our fish at times. Not waste no time. Okay. We done made it inside. Very, very windy. I know this stuff is really soaked up. And there's a spillway over here. I've been wanting to catch a fish over here at the spillway. I got a bite or two all the way across. But nothing too outstanding. So I'm going to go ahead and try again. I'm going to be tossing first. It's not a lipless. I'm going to be this wacky rig. I got it. So it's weightless. I mean, it's weighted. So I can finesse it if needs be. All right, let's make a move. Okay, so we made it to the side that I really wanted to fish. I'm really thinking that this is more deeper or it holds more holds more bait for these big for these big old agile fish to be lurking in the water's been really cold been raining been windy and i don't see it changing anytime so uh, most of the time i've been catching one fish or having at least one strike at my lure these past couple of days i've been fishing it wasn't this exact location but okay i want to try that worm first before i try this i'm really thinking if i need to switch to like a black and blue but i can see this worm clearly the water is murky and stuff, but doesn't matter. Got a little chartreuse in on it, so. I'm trying to see if I can catch anything over here in these sticks. Okay.
felt like I had a fight just then. Got a fish. First one. Oh my god. Look at them lips. Just get them back. Later, Gator. That was a little one. You got a bite off of the worm, though. One a little bit bigger than that. Seeing that they had red lips, I'll make one more cast with this and slowly retrieve it. But seeing that they had red lips made it, made it me think that they're eating on the bottom, maybe even eating crawdads, which I wouldn't be surprised if there was some out here. But so I got a red lipless crankbait and a crawdad color. I thought I had a bite. But in the crawdad color and basically you're just going to drag it through the bottom all right let's switch it back mm -hmm. it sure is cold out here seeing those big red lips on that little bass made me go pick this up I'm not gonna escape this one. Looks like there's a knot in my line, which it is, which I shall retie. It might not even be eating moving baits, but that's why I'm gonna drag this along the bottom so they can visually see it. it Cause a lot of ruckus. You can hear it, it's bright red, but like what they're eating. Yeah, this wind is eating me up. Ah. All right. Let's go. I'm going to be mad if that breaks me off right there. Let me try again. Reverse. Overthink something that can possibly happen. I haven't thrown this lure yet, so there's no telling if a big fish or anything is going to actually bite this. So I'm going to act, make sure, make sure that no way these fish will be able to come off. All right, let's get it. I think I'm gonna go this way. Fish chased it right here. It chased it right here. I know y'all seen that. It followed it all the way in, boy. Bruh.
is running at me. Second one of the day. Oh, almost fell. Okay, let's be careful with this guy. It's too cold to be getting stuck in a lip. Let me stuck in the hand. Yep. Look at that. Red lips. Red bait. It's a nice stop. Oh. Nice little one pounder. He's really white because this water is not visible. And this is not the fish that smacked that mine. So put him back. I gotta go all the way around here. Grab my lure. It's stuck. Okay, so we made our way back to the rock after freeing our lure on the opposite side. I really want to bring my worm rod down here, being that it's a lot more covered. I ain't gonna cap. Oh, boy, I'm cold. I am cold. I should have brought a jacket. Didn't think I was gonna need one because I didn't know how bad the wind was in the open. Oh my god boys, oh my god, oh my god. Stop moving me boy, big girl. She is humongous. Yeah, she's a five. Oh dang. Oh my god. really big fish god look at the proportions on there that's a five all day zeroed out four point one nine four pounder 
one of a little bit bigger one than that but hey all right this girl been out of the water long enough let's go ahead and get her back on the release Yes, sir. We got him. We have hit a big fish today. But guess what? We're not giving up. We're trying to get a six pounder. I'm trying to get that six pounder. And y'all can watch me do it. But I really wish y'all could go out there and get them too. I know that a lot of big fish been caught at this time. During the winter, previous to spring. They're loading up. It's really cold. Oh, yeah. He smacked it like right at the bank. That was amazing. That was absolutely amazing. That was a big fish. That was a big fish. Now that we made it to the other side, I want to fish this area right there. I think it's fairly deep right here too. Haven't really caught too many fish in this area. Haven't really haven't caught a fish at all in this area just over by the spillway. But y'all remember at the beginning of the video, we started over there at that spillway and what was I tossing? My worm wacky rig. Instead, I began a majority of chases and fights off of this lip of the screen. So, go ahead and put my stuff down. Give this crankbait a cast or two. See what we can produce. Before we head out. Okay. It's way more colder on this side. <laughs> the wind is directly hitting me. I have no protection from it whatsoever. I'm out here in the wide open. Right there. On that note, guys, I want to say thank you everybody for viewing. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like um, and make sure while you're already down there to hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Um, thank y'all once again for watching MTA and I will catch y'all on the next one.